Welcome back YouTubers to my channel of an everyday life of an lesbian. Basically right now some of these topics that I'm going to address to you has been playing around on my mind as well as on my heart right now to share with you all. You can choose to accept it or reject it of some of the topics I bring of this everyday thoughts that I have been thinking of right now because obviously you're entitled to basically dismiss yourself from it or whatever it may be if you feel it's not for you or you may feel that maybe it's for someone else that you want to share that these video topics around that I'm sharing with you all right now because obviously right now I feel in my heart that we need to encourage, inspire and build people up no matter what even though yes okay I humbly apologize that sometimes some of the things that I come out with may not be to everyone's tea or standards or what have you but this is just life obviously this is my journey of what I've seen what I've experienced what I've heard and what I've, I'm learning right now just like anyone of yours will be learning right now so no further ado though at, in the last piece I was talking about be yourself basically this is just a brief little guideline or what have you or just food for thoughts that was playing on my mind to share with you all about how we shouldn't be conformed to the world around us, basically, of what we should say, speak, think, or do. We should be our own original self and hopefully just bring out the originality of ourselves and just be ourselves in a way. But anyway, this one's basically going to be called Ladies Respect Yourself at All Times. So I'm hoping to address this to the woman. If there's any males on here that wants to listen in, that's fine, basically, because I'm hoping to share some, some food for thought for you guys as well as encouragement and support because obviously, like I said before, I'm hoping to reach out more they are outside the autistic community but other communities in the youtube channel and other places where i feel match fit so i humbly apologize if you feel that you're being left out don't feel that way because obviously i'm here to support anyone at any time hopefully just need to keep hopefully doing what i can in the way of engaging and supporting others in one way or another now let's begin of this topic that has been on my mind you see now and again though basically what we feed in ourselves spiritually, mentally, physically, you know, and what we show in ourselves to others, especially immature men that comes on our paths right now, that comes out and preys on us, you know, for our attention, just totally sees us as objects of basically sex and lust to how we dress ourselves, if we are to dress ourselves in a standard of these days and age of what I've noticed, that, you know, sex sells body image sales, first impressions last, you know, you know, all these kind of quotas that I hear about all the time, which makes me really ill to hear about it, but it's a sad reality here. This will definitely show and define to us that us women are nothing but that just opposite sex, where immature males will try to show up and show us off to their homies, their group mates, or whoever. It's like, really guys and girls? Are you all for real? Is this how you really all act and thinking to keep your keep schools or whatever else it may be? Do you think that the way you're dressing up, showing too much ass or cleverage is the way to go? To get that attention, going to get what you want, to get noticed, going to get a promotion? Seriously, no way, Jose. This is not the case, however. You are asking and digging for it in the wrong way and in the wrong form of attention that you may be looking for though, however. And sure as hell what you want and what you crave for. You'll get what you ask for the wrong way though. Yet, okay, I get it. It's your choice and it's up to you and you only to what you want to say and do in your life. It's your decision if you want to let these immature guys treat you the way you want them to be treated. It's up to you to stand up for yourself though and to defend yourself if you really value yourself and respect yourself enough to do this. You know, I still see to this day young girls in their teens not wanting to respect themselves, etc. If I heard or seen an immature boy, I feel I have the right to make a stand and say to them, excuse me, yes you, I deserve a bit of respect from you and I'm not a piece of trash where you think you can just show me off, show me up as some object you can play with at any time. Got what I said? Understood? Good. Turn around and walk away from the immature guys. My thought and action in the first place wouldn't be wearing the outfit saying to have sex, fuck me, good, etc. Excuse my terminology. No, I want to be sure to be around the men that I'm comfortable with to be me and the real me. To accept me and love me for who and what I am. I respect you. A lot of people seem to have no respect, no shame in saying or doing all this. Do you think having disrespect for yourself is flattering and is well worth it? 
All right, allowing when you walk down the street, it's cute when he's got your, his eyes on you while wearing your skimpy outfits. Do you think that it's okay for women who respect themselves enough to have immature guys to try and talk them us down, etc.? No. I don't deserve it, and whether neither do you. I'll speak in whatever language I feel fits to him to get him away from me quick, fast, if I feel that uncomfortable and non so. I'll need to stand up regards of any confrontation from them, or me included, confronting them. Men these days have lost that word of respect, which obviously respect goes both ways for men and fem males and females, obviously in this day and age. And what it means, and they need to relearn, relive, reteach themselves on what that is. This goes for both of us, males and female species. Love yourself, treat yourself right, you know, um, treat yourself to hell and what you want to be treated. So thanks for watching, thanks for listening, basically. Like on this channel, basically, comment below if you feel the need to, basically. Also, subscribe to my channel because I'm hoping every day I'll be bringing out some daily vlogs of what I've been thinking about right now to share right now. Also, basically, share these videos to family and friends. So, in all further ado, thanks for watching, guys. Love what you do, do what you love. Until next time, I'll see you all again soon.